At day, the Chicago Brown Stockings made their professional debut against the Chicago White Stockings. May 6 was the culmination of the city finding its political, cultural, and economic identity through baseball. St. Louis baseball's cultural relevance was directly tied to the city fighting Chicago for the title of the most elite in the Midwest. St. Louis won the game 10-0, but the cities continued to have a tense rivalry for supremacy in a variety of different areas, politics, journalism, and cultural importance. May 6 marked the first professional game between the two teams, and over 5,000 fans enjoyed the first edition of a rivalry that has lasted over 100 years. Today it is continued by the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. Two publications continue to increase the amount of exposure for the St. Louis Brown Stockings. Joseph Pulitzer with the Post-Dispatch and Alfred Spink with the St. Louis Sporting News. Even though Pulitzer focused more on investigative journalism, the Post-Dispatch helped continue St. Louis's rivalry with Chicago. The St. Louis Sporting News is one of the oldest sports publications in the United States. It was affectionately known as the Bible of Baseball and was essential for anyone who wanted to keep up with the St. Louis Browns. The rivalry between Chicago and St. Louis continued to grow for a decade. In 1875, the Chicago Tribune said, if the White Stockings proposed to continue to use the name Chicago, they must wipe out St. Louis. When the teams met in the 1885 and 1886 World Series, St. Louis's pride weighed in the balance. The teams tied a six-game series in 1885, only causing fandom to grow in St. Louis. By the time the team played in 1886, the Browns covered the front pages of the Sporting News and the Post-Dispatch whenever they would play. The 1886 World Series was a cultural event for St. Louis. The teams played on six consecutive days, and the Browns pulled out a 4-2 victory over the White Stockings, making the Browns the 1886 World Series champions. 1875-1886 helped lay the framework for the cultural relevance of the St. Louis Browns, now the Cardinals, to St. Louis, and the importance to St. Louis media. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch still exclusively covers the Cardinals.